Williamson County and Travis County fire agencies are getting closer to getting people help faster during an emergency. They're working on an automatic aid agreement between the two counties. Austin's fire chief is ready to give it the green light. But as KXAN's Caitlin Carmuth explains, the Austin City Council decided today to wait a couple of more weeks before giving it a vote. It means everything to me. Firefighting. It's a job Ron Molenberg has poured his heart and soul into. I live this business. For decades, he's lived it in Pflugerville, a city he's seen rapidly become a metropolitan community. Gone from an all volunteer department to an all career department. Pflugerville, within Travis County lines, currently helps out neighboring cities like Hutto. We're kind of the middleman in it. Pflugerville can only provide that so called mutual aid upon request. If we have automated agreements with Pflugerville, they will get that same tone at the same time versus us having to request mutual aid. Rob Bocanegra is Hutto's assistant fire chief. He says keeping up with the growing population of 45,000 people has become nearly impossible. We have always been behind. So automatic aid seems like the most viable solution. That's when the closest firefighters would respond, regardless of city limits, without being asked. But one thing standing in the way of an agreement, defining a universal operating system. One protocol all firefighters would take when responding to specific emergencies. So we could literally have a hodgepodge of operating systems. All the more reason, Austin's fire chief says, to get all these jurisdictions on the same page and bring down response times. With the assistance of the ESDs, are about nine minutes and 11 seconds. And without the support of the ESDs, we may get there within 12, 13, 14 minutes. We've got to stop looking at the color of our patch and look at the color of the uniform. Caitlin Carmo, KXAN News. City leaders still need to work out how dispatch will operate under this automatic aid agreement with both Williamson and Travis counties. Council is expected to decide on the agreement by December 5th.